Hey YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to get the Archfiend Spear which does plus 30% bonus damage and is fully color customizable. So you can change it in three ways with the eye color, the base color and also the accessory color. So if you don't have a 30% bonus damage weapon you should get this as soon as you're level 80 or if you're just getting tired of using your burning blade of Abzeth. So first you want to go to someone with a Nolgath Nation house and once you get there you just go down this route and you'll find LAE the NPC who you'll need for getting the Archfiend Spear. So once you're here you click on LAE and you click shop and you scroll to the bottom to get to Archfiend Spear. So the first item we're going to get is going to be the Voucher of Nolgath non-member. If you have any Nolgath pets use them to get it as it's probably better than the method I'm about to show you. So you want to go to slash join yolga989 and I think you can only do this in Arctic server and Euromi. Once you get here, there'll always be a bunch of people with Nolgath pets. And you want to click on the Drogen pet, Supplies to spin the Wheel of Chance. And both this and the Assistant pet have a 3% chance of giving you non-member voucher of Nolgath, which is what you'll need. To complete this quest, you just need 100,000 gold. Click on Yolga, Shop, Armor Shop. And here you just buy this item, which is all you need to complete that quest. Or if you want to do the one above it, you just kill Chaos Lord Asherion uh, until he drops his helm. So to get the blood gem of the Archfiend, you'll want to go to Nolgath to accept a quest from him. So you go down over here. So you want to go middle, right, middle, right, right, left, and left. So here you click on Nolgath. Now you need to accept a quest from him. Click quests, more quests, kiss the void, and over here we click accept. So for the first item, Tender the Assistant, you want to kill a bunch of Makai till they drop Tender the Assistant. And to get a fragment of chaos, you want to go to slash join blinding snow. And once you're here, you go through here, and here there are a bunch of chaos gem rolls. So first you have to complete the storyline in this area, which takes like 20 minutes to do. Otherwise, the Chaos Gemeralds won't appear here. And for the final item for the quest, you're going to need to go to slash join Evil War Null. And you have to go down a bunch of rooms till you find the Legion Fenrir monsters. I just kill a bunch of these till they drop the Broken Betrayal Blades. Next we'll need 100 fresh souls, which are pretty easy to get. So you click on the quest by LAE, and you click let's make a deal. So you want to accept this, we have to get 10 fresh souls to get 10 fresh soul items and identify to 36. You could slash join citadel, and here you just have to kill a bunch of the knights and stuff here, the inquisitor guards, for the uh, things to drop. So you just kill the inquisitor guards till the fresh souls drop, it does not have a 100% drop rate, but it does drop uh, fairly frequently, so it shouldn't take too long. Next, you'll need 200 diamonds of Nulgath, which you can get at slash join Evil War Null. Once you're here, you click on Dilagas, click on Quests. Only the strong survive today, you accept it, but you need an unidentified 13 in your inventory to get it, and it gives you two diamonds of Nulgath once you complete it. To, to get the items for the quest, you need to kill all the monsters in this area, and it'll drop eventually. Next you'll need the unidentified 34 which will probably take you the longest out of all the items. So to get here you want to go back a couple rooms. So once you're here you click on this NPC. So here you click on quests and willpower extraction and the ward from willpower extraction is an unidentified 34. It can be 2, 4, 6 or 10. So, actually right now I think there's a, maybe a boost for these items, because this seems unusually high. But either way, you'll get at least one of these. So the first item we're going to get is the Shadow Lich. To get it, you have to go to slash join Shadow Fool. And here you need to go to Gravelin, so that you can access the Evil Rep Shop. To get this item, you're going to need the Rank 10 Evil, which is fairly easy to get. I made a guide on it. Uh, the video should be top right corner right now. 
click Evil Reputation, Rep Shop, and here you have the Shadow Lich, which you can buy here. Now that you have the Shadow Lich, you just need the Unidentified 19, which you can get from Drudgeon by doing either the Assistant Quest or the Spin the Wheel of Chance. After you have the Unidentified 19, you need the Essence of Nolgath. You can get Essence of Nolgath by killing the Dark Makai here until it drops it. After you've done the Essence of Nolgath, you need the Totem of Nolgath. To get Totem of Nolgath, you need to go to slash join Yolga9889 again. And once you're here, you click on the Drudgeon pair. You click on Vouch Item Totem of Nolgath. And you kill Makai until it drops 60 Essence of Nolgath and you get one Totem of Nolgath. So now you want to get the Mystic Tribal Sword. You go to slash join Arkham Grove. You need a rank 7 Arkham Grove to get this weapon. Over here. And you can buy it here. Next we need Doom Matter, Necro and Chaos Ridge. You can get all these three items fairly easily. So you just go through here. Then through the middle. And you go all through all these bunch of rooms until you get to a uh, Swindle. And here we ha have arrived at Swindle Bilk. You just want to click on his merch shop. Over here you buy his receipt of Swindle. You need three of these to buy one KO root, well technically ten. Ten Doom Matter and ten Necro. The next three items, Archfiend's Favor, Mortality Keeper Revontius and King Clunk's Crown. You can get them all at Slash Join Evil War Null. You want to go through a bunch of rooms until you arrive to the right room. And once we've arrived here, we kill all these monsters, monsters until we get Archfiend's Favor and the Mortality Kip of Revontius. And if King King's Clunk Crown has not yet dropped, you go through a bunch of rooms until you reach Laken. And Laken has a high percentage drop rate of King Clunk's Crown. And now we just need one more item, the Face Breaker of Nolgath. And to get this item, you need to go to Nolgath himself. We're going to have to go through a bunch of rooms again. And now we're at Nolgath. We need to accept his quest, Kindness of Nolgath, which gives you a 50% chance of getting face breaker of Nolgath. The first item you'll need is the Golden Shadow Breaker, which, which you can get a slash joint citadel by killing the Grand Inquisitor at the end of the map. And then we need the Shadow Terror Axe, which you can get a slash join battle under B. Once you're here, you want to actually exit this room until you have battle under A and you kill the Bone Terror until he drops the Shadow Terror Axe. Next you'll need the Unidentified 13, Tainted Gems, Dark Crystal Shards and Diamond of Nolgath. So unless you have a Nolgath pair, the way we're going to do this quest, we'll get pretty much all four items at the same time. So you're going to go to slash join Yolga9889. Here you click on the Larvae pair, click Nolgath Larvae. And you accept it, and you go to slash join elemental. You click on great mana golem, and you kill this until it drops the core mana energy, I think it's called. And once it drops it, you want to go down here and kill five of these monsters. And once you're done with the quest, you just turn it in, and it has a, let's see, the chance of unidentified 13. A 5% chance of an unidentified 13 and some chance of all the other items. Now that you have the face break of Nolgath, you can finally turn in the quest and get your unidentified 34. Once you have your unidentified 34, you want to go back to LAE to continue obtaining the Archfiend Spear. 
So next you'll need an unidentified 25, which you can get by doing the Drudgeon, Quest, the Assistant, and turning it in until it finally drops. Then you'll need an unidentified 36, which we already have from doing the Fresh Souls quest. And finally, you need an Archfiend Enchanted Orbs. So for the Archfiend Enchanted Orbs, you know how to get the non-member voucher, you know how to get the Blood Gems, the Fresh Souls, the Diamond, the Unidentified 13, the Unidentified 25, and also the Unidentified 36. So now you have the Archfiend Enchanted Orbs, you can finally merge your Archfiend Spear and you get your item. So you can choose to basic color customize it however you want to you know, make it fit with your set. I choose all neon blue and if this video was useful drop a like and see you guys next time.